I just did what you're supposed to do at 50. I went in to have a colonoscopy and uh, originally went to my primary physician who does colonoscopies and they found a, a precancer polyp and um, through conversations with friends I found Minnesota Gastro and decided to have a second opinion and went in there um, I think it was about January 26th of 2005 when the physician uh, that did my second colonoscopy uh, at Minnesota Gastro uh, came into the recovery room after the procedure and my wife was there and he said uh, I didn't even have to biopsy it I could tell by the growth and the shape that it's cancer and um, at that particular time uh, my wife and I had planned a train trip uh, out west uh, coming up within just a few days of, of my second opinion. Uh, and I asked the doctor, well, do you think I can go on vacation for 10 days? And uh, he looked at me and said, you got cancer in your body. Why would you want to do something like that? The best thing we can do right now is get you into surgery tomorrow. Uh, fortunately, it was stage one colon cancer. So they removed about eight inches of my colon stitched me back together and because I went in early and they caught it at its early stages I didn't have to have any radiation or chemotherapy. I have a brother and a sister who uh, my sister has gone in for her colonoscopy shortly after I did. My brother's uh, 55 years old and I have yet talked to him and he has not gone in for a procedure. I think like a lot of males he's a little bit scared of of finding out the results possibly along with the prep and the procedure itself. Um, it's very important in my opinion to get your brothers and your sisters and all your relatives uh, on your side of the family to go in for a procedure once someone in the family has been found to have colon cancer. It's probably the most important thing you could do for yourself and even if you're under age 50 if it's in the family you can go get the procedure done and if you have health insurance it'll be covered.